complex problem, not an easy problem, a hard problem, a complex problem, using the triple helix concept of academic or university, industry, and government interactions. That's our goal. Now, to win the game, and there will be some judges walking around the game. Should I move over here? To win the game, you will apply knowledge, innovation, and consensus cards. Now, these cards are available on your table, and they're color-coded. So, for example, Science Park is the green innovation card. Now, I'll describe the cards in a minute, because there's a very special set of cards in this game, a very special set of cards. So let's talk about the game cards. The first kind of game cards are the problem cards, and they describe a problem for you to solve. We recommend that you pick a problem as a team and try and solve just one problem. There's eight problems to pick from, so we suspect you'll find something that you find inspiring and interesting. The second set of knowledge cards describe how knowledge is generated. And there are some examples of how we generate knowledge in this triple helix system. The next set provides examples of how the actors in a triple helix, how the interfaces and relationships work. And finally, there's consensus cards, which are ways that the actors in a triple helix system work together to reach consensus on a particular path or a particular element of problem solving. So the way the cards look are something like this, and these are examples, and you can see them on your table, and there's also an overview. There are very special game cards. These are the big blank cards called the AHA cards. We know that we have not listed all of your creative ideas on those cards. When you see a way to solve the problem that is not listed, grab an AHA card and fill it out with your fellow players. And the judges will be looking for these AHA cards. The more AHA cards you use, the more likely you are to win the game. Mm. The more aha cards you use, the more likely you are to win the game. So, the rules are very simple. You're going to select a problem scenario. You're going to select or create combinations of these cards, and you're going to put them on the game board. We encourage you to use all of the materials at your table. You've got tape and markers and pens and pencils so you can draw pictures, you can describe pictures, you can tape things into the uh, game board. If English is not your primary language, you can use your native language and then we'll ask you to help us translate it when you're done. So you can think in your native language if it allows you to move faster or if it's more comfortable. Now, the winning team will be invited to write a formal solution to the problem that we will then publish on the triple Helix website so that we can continue the conversation and get this information out into the world. And all of the entries and all of the aha cards will be collected. All of this game will be made available to everyone through a Creative Commons license so that everyone can gain benefit. So if you enjoy this game and you're going to be doing a Triple Helix conference or a Triple Helix event in your own university or in your own country, you can gain access to these materials uh, at no charge. So we're doing this all available through Creative Commons to make this available to the Triple Helix community. Now, as the judges are walking around the room, they're going to be looking at the quality of the conversation and the discussions that the tables have. And what you're going to find is that they're looking for three things in your solution. So it's not just create any solution. We're looking for realistic solutions to these complex problems. And so we're going to look at the dimensions of novelty. Is this something that is different? Is this something innovative? But not just is it a good idea, is it in fact feasible? Does it match, for example, the cultural context? 
in which it is being applied? Does it provide an access for capital or funding? So you might have a great idea, but if, it, if it's not fundable, it's not feasible. And lastly, do the judges think it's going to have an impact? Will it produce the result that's intended to solve the problem? So these are the dimensions that we would like you to keep in mind as you're going through and creating your ideas. So it's not just crazy ideas, it's ideas that are realistic. We have play tested this game a few times and we found that through our testing there's some helpful hints. One note, one job is having someone on your team being aware of time. I will present uh, some slides to help you keep track of time, but we are trying to keep the conference on time, so we're going to keep track of time. You might want to also designate that someone in the team helps take notes. You're going to find that people are offering a lot of ideas very quickly. So someone might want to just grab one of those index cards and write them down, because this notion of uh, creating ideas will happen very quickly. And then finally there's a materials organizer. Sometimes with these materials it might be helpful to have someone organize this. Now in terms of the strategies, try different cards. There's a set of knowledge cards, there's a set of innovation cards, and there's a set of consensus cards. Lay them out, pick one that you think works, and then invent more. It's okay to offer multiple solutions. We want to stress this. It's, if you have, in your group of five or six or seven people, if you have two ideas, you don't have to pick one. You can express both of them. And again, I want to also invite you, if drawing a picture is a good way to express your solution, draw a picture. So you don't have to just use words to explain what you want to do. Now, the most important criteria is we want you to avoid solutions that simply defer the problem to the future. And an example of this would be, let's say you're trying to solve some kind of hard problem, and you know in your mind that there's a technological trend that will occur. Don't say in 10 years the technology will be such that this problem is solved. Because we actually don't know in 10 years if that technology will mature that way. There may be indications, but we can't have the proof. So what we would like you to do is, using today's technology, using today's insights, how do we work on problems now, not in 10 years? So that's a very important consideration, that we just don't want to push these problems off into the future. Here's a very light overview of time. Again, we'll take 45 minutes to work on your solution. Then we're going to ask you in about uh, 15 additional minutes to organize and start prepare your thoughts. And then the judges will be walking around and the facilitators will be walking around and we'll ask you to kind of share your solution with them and talk about it. Questions that you have uh, during the game, just raise your hand. Any of the blue shirt facilitators will be happy to help you and we'll be wandering around the room supporting you in any way that you need. Have fun. Get playing.